all right so hi everyone uh, hope you're doing great welcome to digital Saurabh. today we're going to talk about types of website generally we have static website we have dynamic websites and we have e-commerce websites now uh, the basic difference between all these websites are the static website is a basic website wherein we have four to five pages uh, there is a lot of content over there but there is no as such feature like if i give you an example for the static website let me just show you okay now this is one of my clients website uh, this is a static website herein we have the company profile the product range projects news updates and contact us only now, there is no as such feature in this particular website the only feature which we have is this contact form now any user who came onto this website they can get to know the uh, company details and after that they can fill this contact form and we get the information of the leads in this website there is no as such functionality okay. now if i talk about a dynamic website now dynamic website is uh, uh, it, it's basically created via coding and there are a lot of things which is which are included in a dynamic website like uh, you can have payment gateway you can have a database and uh, you also have the uh, coding part attached to it now if i give you an example of a dynamic website uh, that would be something like this red bus or maybe like GoDaddy. Here, user can do some activities on these on these websites. Like, you know, on this red bus, they can uh, select the journey. They can uh, see how many buses are available for that, uh, for particular location. If I talk about GoDaddy, GoDaddy has a feature wherein they can check the domain names and they can purchase the domain names and they can make the payment. Plus uh, there's this account uh, option available here. Like people can create their account there is a database which is included with the uh, website so this is how dynamic website uh, works now after that comes the e-commerce now e-commerce is a website which have the products majorly the payment gateway and the, we can also have the accounts like uh, people can create the account now generally people say that dynamic and e-commerce what uh, they, they generally ask what's the difference between the dynamic website and e-commerce website uh, more or less dynamic e-commerce website is a dynamic website because we have a payment gateway we have account but uh, in e-commerce the major part is that we have a lot of products so this is the generic difference between the static website dynamic website and e-commerce website Please let me know if you have uh, doubts on this static website, dynamic website or e-commerce part.